Thanks, guys. Hey guys, how are ya? Thanks very much for being here. Huge video ahead today. We're gonna to go through the weekend sales. What sold on my eBay store over the weekend? And we had some pretty pleasing results. If I pull the table up, we had a total of 19 sales come through. $1,096 in revenue. Cost of goods, $153 down the bottom there with fees and postage. $635 in net revenue. It's been an awesome weekend. I'm absolutely pumped about it. And we're gonna go back and have a look at what those items were. And the beauty of it is there's some really high average sale prices in there. So it's gonna make for a pretty exciting what sold video. There's gonna be a few other bits and pieces that I'll allude to a little bit later on. So do stick around to the very end, but um, let's go back home, dive through those weekend sales. Rightio guys, let's get into it. Here are all the DVDs and video games that we had sell over the weekend. A little bit less than what we normally do with just the seven sales, but still some pretty good ones nonetheless. Let's dive into it with the first one here, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now you guys hopefully tuned in to that trip to the thrift video just last Thursday. Well, I bought a PlayStation 2 bundle. I paid $130, I got 19 games, the console and two controllers. This game, this Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was hiding in there and I've ended up selling it for $104.50. So just a massive bolo game for you guys to be looking out for. That one sold on the very same day that I listed it for a hundred bucks, which is absolutely just incredible. Pretty much almost pays for the entire PS2 bundle I bought on Thursday. Uh, Beavis and Butthead as well, guys. This is a big bolo DVD. It is only volume three, as you can see there, but it's ended up selling for $39. So that's a real uh, big winner for you guys to be looking out for as well. Uh, Species 1, 2, and 3, the trilogy set, brand new and sealed. Um, this one sold for $25. So I didn't think that was too bad either for just a single DVD found in the... Uh, in the actually, no, this was a Facebook Marketplace wholesale bundle. Uh, would have only paid the 50 cents for that one. So these three here, I won't speak too much about. They were just sort of your $10 to $15 winners. And then this one here, I will have a quick chat about the Sunset Limited. It's ended up selling for 13 bucks, but it did go internationally and they have paid an extra $30 worth of international postage. So it is off to Bulgaria. Um, so I'm assuming that the postage cost is going to be slightly higher for a place like that. Um, so I might just break even with the $13. Um, I won't get any extra basically on the, on the postage costs. Um, over here, we've got DVDs and video game numbers for you. A total of seven sales, totaling up to $247.50 and an average sale price of $35.35. So for seven sales, they were certainly seven really good ones. We've had a number of really good clothing items sell over the weekend as well. I'm going to kick things off with this West Tigers Rugby League jersey. So size large, genuine merchandise. It actually had a 15-year badge on it, which really caught my eye. Um, wanted to try and get over 50 bucks for it. Ended up accepting a best offer for $45. So... Look, it's better than nothing. I'm always selling my jerseys out of the thrift, purchasing for five to 10. So to get a 45 return on this, I didn't think was too bad. But uh, they're not playing too great at footy at the moment in the NRL. So that's probably why this one sold for a little bit less than what I thought it would. But uh, nonetheless, 45 bucks off what was probably a $5 purchase, not too bad. Now, a few months back, I bought a bunch of Billionaire Boys Club t-shirts uh, on a trip to the thrift video. These things are worth 70 odd dollars in brand new condition. I've got it brand new with tags as well. Paid the nine bucks, thought there was gonna be a stack of profit in it, and there, there pretty much was. I've ended up selling this one for $35. Uh, really sweet back print on it as well with the ice cream logo. Love this t-shirt, size medium. Uh, 35 bucks plus international postage to the US of $30. It'll probably cost me $18 to send it off to the US. So I've made an extra 12 bucks there. Turns into a $47 sale price, which I thought was pretty good. This one was very much a staple seller for me. I do this quite a number of times. It was the Nike Tool Performance Golf Polo Shirt. So very much a plain essential polo shirt, this one. There's nothing too fancy about it. There's some stripes in it, if you can see it there. But this one was an extra large. I bought it for maybe 7 or $8, and I ended up selling it for 30 bucks. So a really quick turnaround. We're talking about three or four days with this one. I only bought it last week. And um, yeah, moved it on for $30. So maybe a $15 profit on that one. It's just a bread and butter winner, these golf polo shirts. I am selling quite a number of them. And I'm going to consistently keep picking them up. Two other clothing items to round out this category, guys. We've got the Nike SB Men's Chino Shorts. A 32 waist, no concerns there. These actually sat around in my eBay store for quite a while, a whole lot more longer than I expected. Now, I had them listed up for $35, which I thought was pretty competitive, but in the end, I took a best offer for $30. So we're talking about a $15 profit on those. I've also got the Banana Republic straight leg 
32 waist, 32 length. A really cool little uh, cargo pocket there as well. Um, these ones have sold for $32.50. So again, I'm only picking these up for about five bucks in the thrift and I'm selling them for about a $15 profit on eBay. So um, not too bad in the clothing section. We had the three tops that I spoke of, uh, two pairs of pants or shorts and pants. Um, so some good profit overall in the clothing category. Time to jump into the shoe category. And we've had a total of five shoes still over the weekend. Have a look at them. The first one's right there, the Asics Steel Kayanos, the 26s. Bought these in a trip to the thrift on Thursday. $25 was the purchase price. And uh, I've ended up selling for $85 in the space of 24 hours on eBay. So guys, just an unbelievable result here. I'm always buying these. You guys know how much I love selling them. And this is the reason as to why. So a huge result there. And then we had two other pairs of shoes sell over here. The first ones are gonna be the Adidas Ultra Boost. These are the 4.0, the women's running shoes. Just a really cool pair of shoes. I'm always picking up the Ultra Boost whenever I see them. Um, the soles, sole check, pretty damn good to me. Um, they've sold for $50 plus $25 worth of international postage. So total revenue of $75 for these things. So I think I paid $10 for them uh, in the thrift and um, I've gone on to make myself pretty much a $35 profit with a little bit extra for international postage. So Ultra Boosts, if you're getting into shoes, I definitely recommend picking these ones up whenever you see them, if they're in good condition. And then the other one were these Nike free no lace women's running shoes as well. Just a bit of a yellow and black colorway to them. Not too bad of a shoe. There's no support in them, as you can see with the sole there. They're more of an entry level style shoe. Um, the sole's not too bad. There's a little bit of wear, but nothing too crazy. $42.75. I actually thought that was a pretty good return for these shoes. I only paid $5 for these in the thrift. So a really great little return there. I'm thinking about a $25 profit when you take out fees and post. So for an entry level style shoe to still be able to profit 25 bucks, I thought that was really good. Bit of an update on the ultra running shoes that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace as well. If you guys remember this deal, it was 33 pairs of shoes, brand new condition, literally brand new. Um, and the brand is Ultra. So I paid $500 for all of these shoes, 33. They work out to about 15 bucks each. And they have been consistently selling for me on eBay. So these ones here were the ones that sold over the weekend. These are the Lone Peak 3.5 women's uh, trail running shoes. And I've ended up getting a $119.95 sale price plus a $25 international postage rate. So $145 these shoes have gone on to sell for. And I anticipate every single one of these shoes will average about a $100 sale price. So we're talking about three to three and a half grand worth of sales when they all go on to sell. I've sold about seven pairs so far at an average of about a hundred bucks. So I've definitely got my money back on this deal and I anticipate a hell of a lot of profit over the weeks to come. So that's four pairs of shoes, guys. I do have one more pair right here to take you through. And uh, you would have remembered out of my trip to that thrift on Thursday. I bought the Jordan 5s, the cement white Jordan 5s. This was the issue. It had the bike mark right there. Now, I can't help myself in the thrift. I've got to buy these things. And for good reason. These shoes have gone on to sell in 12 hours, even advertising the bike mark in them for $149.95. So... Having bought them for 70 bucks in the thrift, these bad boys have gone on to make me a $47 profit in the space of 12 hours. So, look, I know a lot of you guys out there were saying don't buy the shoes, and I completely get that. I, I was a bit nervous about buying them myself, but I am just very pleased to see that they have come around with such a quick turnaround. Um, $149.50. Look, they are a great shoe. They should sell for about 250 bucks, but because I got the bite mark, I dropped the price slightly, got my number. So, very happy with that, guys. $47.50 to end the shoe category. Don't buy a whole lot of these, but uh, another board game has gone on to sell. There's all my board games right there. So I've got a couple more to go, but um, this one has sold Operation Finding Dory. So a $25 sale price in the end on this guy. He is brand new and sealed, and that is the only way I buy my board games because there's always missing pieces generally when you get the used ones. So 25 bucks on this, look, it's a very, very small profit and I don't really like to sell them. So it's going to be one of the few I sell moving forward. So that's 18 out of 19 items. This is a really fun one to end it on. We've got the massive, massive Superman action figure here. I bought this guy off Facebook Marketplace. I paid $20 for him, but for good reason. I knew exactly what I was getting my hands on with this guy. He's so damn big. I can't even fit him in the frame, but um, he's ended up selling for $100, guys, on eBay. So it's a Jack Pacific model. Um, should go on to make me about a $45 profit, I think, because it's going to cost me about 20 bucks to ship it off. Um, he is an absolute unit and uh, he's adjustable as well. He bends all over the place. Um, so this is an absolute ripping find on Facebook Marketplace. Turned around to be a $100 sale price on eBay. 
And like I said, a $45 profit on the big action figure. Lunchtime. So I've been doing this for the last couple of weeks. Unreal. Brown rice and quinoa. Get that for about two bucks at Coles. Now I've got cherry tomatoes. I eat these every single day. We've got some avocado. Don't worry about it. It's actually not that bad a condition. Um, and then the cucumber as well. I'm always putting that. So this is, I'm halfway through. We've got all of it added in there with some tuna. Um, the tuna, I just use this Serena garlic infused tuna in oil. So we've got that in there. And then the avocado, I'm gonna slice up and put that one in there as well. But I've only got one hand, so I'm gonna to need to do that now. What do you think, Winnie? What do you think? Not bad. Not bad. Off to the gym. Oh, guys, it is Bloody hot, I can tell you that right now. Summer is definitely coming. Um, we're off to the gym. I've just had some lunch. We've got the eBay orders out. Uh, there's no post today because it's a public holiday. So that means that I'm gonna just have to buckle up and do it tomorrow, but um, it's sitting there. It's ready to go. It just needs to be dropped off. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym now because I've got a bit of a free afternoon, really. I'm gonna go catch up with my good mate, Paul. He's a PT at the gym that I'll be going to. I'm not a, I'm not a member there at this gym, um, but I'm just gonna go and check it out and um, do a bit of a session with him. So that should be a bit of fun. Um, only about 15 away. So let's get into it and uh, I'll run a bit of an edit for you of our session. Well, mate, that was an absolute burner. I feel pretty crook. I've taken a screen grab and I'm showing everybody, so that was just disgusting. It's pretty tough set, yeah. You smashed me too. You were like a good two, three minutes quicker. I didn't, I didn't show that in the edit though. I made it look like we were level, Peggy. Anyway, I'm out of here, mate. See you, mate. See you, mate. Guys, a couple of really cool things happened while I was in the gym just then. The first one was we had a couple of sales pop up from Thursday's trip to the thrift video. So I couldn't not mention it in today's video. The first one were the Adidas Dame 4s, the basketball shoes. You guys unanimously told me to cop them and uh, I did. $25 was the purchase price. They've ended up selling in three days for $75, guys. So uh, a $35 international postage rate went on top of that as well. So it was $110 worth of revenue for these shoes. And I've ended up profiting $40. So absolutely blown away with that result. I'm also blown away with the second sale that popped up and that was the PlayStation 2 console out of Thursday's trip to the thrift. If you, if you remember that, it was $130 worth of a purchase price there. I pulled out the Harry Potter game. I've already sold that for $100 and now we've sold the PlayStation 2 console for $200. And twenty dollars, my friends. So three hundred and thirty bucks worth of revenue right there on that PlayStation Two bundle that I picked for one hundred and thirty bucks. I'm going to end up making about one hundred and fifty dollars worth of profit on that purchase alone out of last Thursday's video. So just an epic couple of results there that I do need to tell you guys. And really, the moral of the story there is: don't be afraid to spend up if you know what you're buying. I knew the Adidas Dame Fours were a really good shoe, and I knew that buying them at twenty five could have still got me some profit. It did. And then when I saw the Harry Potter game in the PlayStation Two console, I just had to buy the thing for 130 because I knew that I could turn it into, well, ultimately $330. So don't be afraid, guys. Don't If you don't know what the item is, maybe don't spend up on it. But if you do know, and that's why it's really important to stick to a couple of niche categories and get to know those categories really well, uh, they can pay off. So video games for me, shoes for me, absolutely. And uh, a couple of proven case scenarios there for you guys to take home with you. Um, the other thing as well is those two sales we achieved a milestone for the first time ever on this channel, for the first time ever in this business, because I've only ever documented from the beginning, um, we've hit $10,000 for the, a 30 day period. So 30 days of selling on eBay every day consistently all the way through to this last 30 day period, finally.
$10,000 in revenue. And if I did that every single month, I'd be doing $120,000 a year on eBay. Just me, just me doing my thing. And uh, I'm absolutely blown away by that. It's, um, it, it's a huge motivator, a huge tick the box for me to know that I am doing the right thing. I'm buying the right stuff, selling the right stuff, giving good customer service. All the little things are doing uh, are doing me well. So that's a little milestone I thought I'd mention to, uh, to, to finish the video, basically. But guys, that's everything. I don't really have too much more than that. There were only two little things I wanted to talk to you about. 10K achieved and uh, those two really cool sales. So I'll leave you with the video of a trip to the thrift. Like I said, so many cool items that have already gone on to sell. You've seen them all sell in this video. If you missed the picking of that video, it's right here for you guys to go and check out. So thanks very much for being here. My 30% clubbers, I love you guys so much. Uh, I do appreciate all of your support and I'll be back on Thursday. I'll be back on Thursday for a trip to the thrift. Don't you worry about that. Appreciate you being here, guys. We'll see you soon.